What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome back to Best vs. Worst. As you can see, for today's episode, we're going to be using the AE4. And the worst variant of the AE4, at least in my opinion, and a lot of other people were agreeing in the comment sections of the previous episodes, the worst variant is actually an elite variant, and is the Shocker. Now, the Shocker, the stats for it say it has an increased fire rate and then decreased damage and accuracy. Well, fire rate for the AE4 is not actually the rate at which the gun fires, it's how long it takes to overheat. So this gun takes a lot longer to overheat, but it doesn't fire any faster. So it doesn't technically kill any faster than any of the other ones. It actually kills slower because it has decreased damage. This goes from a three shot kill straight down to a five shot kill fairly early on in its, in its range. So because of that, I consider this to be the worst variant of the AE4 because even the base variant goes uh, three shot kill, four shot kill, and then five shot kill. This one completely skips that 4-shot kill range and goes straight down to the 5-shot kill. As for the best variant, it's actually an enlisted variant, which is very similar in stats to the Gigawatt or the Royalty, so the Gigawatt's Elite, but it doesn't have the really obstructive Iron Sights, which doesn't really matter because I'm using a red dot anyways because I just don't really like the Iron Sights in the first place on this gun, so I just prefer to use the, uh, the red dot sight. And this one, this is a three shot kill and then it drops down to, or no, it's a three shot kill for quite a long range. And then it finally drops down to a four shot kill, but that's going to be like cross map type ranges. So most gunfights I'm going to find myself in, this is going to be a three shot kill, which is awesome. And it also doesn't have the downsides of the gigawatt, which is the terrible iron sights and then also the accuracy penalty of the gigawatt. So let's hop into a game and we'll see how we do. Alright guys, here we go, we got Horizon, which should be a pretty good map for this, I think, because the AE4 isn't really ideal really close up, because the fire rate is quite slow, uh, so it doesn't really compete with, with a lot of the other guns, but let's start off with the Shocker here. I did play against some of these guys for a little bit, because uh, I got into a game late, uh, when I searched for a game here, and they were pr some pretty solid players on this, so I uh, just gotta keep an eye out, I gotta play it smart, and, uh, well, try to play it smart anyways. So that's still within my three shot kill range. It's actually kind of funny. I have to play a little bit more aggressively with the what I consider to be the worst variant, which is a little bit backwards from what I'm used to. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh, I thought he was there. I thought he was around the corner there. There he is. Get back here. Learn how to aim ace. You're better than this. Okay. That's good. At least at least we have the B flag. It looks like they didn't actually push the B flag too hard, so it might end up being an easy win. But they were really good at winning gunfights last game, so I don't know. Maybe... Maybe they're really good people left or something. Oh, here we go. And we all abandon B. Good job, everybody. I hate that boost slams are no longer a guaranteed one-hit kill. That's really frustrating. A few months ago, that would have been a guaranteed kill. Like, the second my foot hit him, it would have been a kill. Uh, there we go. Uh, not really seeing too much with the gun, like as far as it being bad or, or anything like that. I do have a system hack. Let's just call it in. Oh, I just realized I probably shouldn't have. It's a little early to call system hacks in, because if you call it in at this point in the game, oh, it's very likely you're going to make people leave. Oh yeah, also with a laser, I just remembered right there, you can't shoot through anything with a laser. My aim is just not on point right now. That guy's just running away. I will let him run away then. I got to focus on my aim a little bit here. Oh, no, no, come back. Hey, come back here. There's a few people in here. Oh, there he is. Oh my god. Saved by the scuff there. <laughs> Saved by the scuff. These guys just keep getting away from me. I can hit them like twice before they get away from me. Kind of frustrating. It honestly wouldn't even matter if I had the supernova or if I had this gun. For all of the kills I've gotten so far. I've kept them within the three shot kill range, I think, anyways. I'm pretty confident that's the three-shot kill range still. It's that fire rate that's getting me. That guy's AFK. Ah, uh, looks like we're gonna triple cap now. Oh, we already did, and now we just lost A. Uh, I hope this doesn't turn out to be a blowout, because then you don't get a full round for the, uh, for the second half. So I might do what I did uh, a little bit. Ow, I didn't see the other guy. I might do what I did for a little bit with the other episodes, where we started to take off with a win, and that is purposely ignore the objective or let the enemy capture some objectives, just to keep the game a little bit on the closer side. I'm going to hold off on that system hack, just again, because I don't want people to leave. Oh my god, this thing t feels like it takes forever to kill, even though I'm still 
I think that's within three shot kill range. I think that only took me three shots to kill. It's just the fire rate made it seem like it takes forever when you compare it to something like a Bal Inferno or something, which is what I'm used to using. Oh, crap. If he wasn't sniping, I would have been dead. I think this is still three shot kill. I think he was backing off here. Maybe not. Oh, oh, yeah, he's dead. Um, normally I'd jump on A right now, but like I said, uh, I guess if my teammates are going to jump on there anyways, I might as well get some points. <laughs> I, I don't want to get too far ahead of the enemies here, so I want to try to control the match that way. Although my, my teammates seem to be pretty solid, so they kind of know what they're doing and they really actually want to capture flags, which normally I'm like, yes, this is awesome. I finally have a great team. But this time I'm like, no, I don't want to. I don't want to completely dominate these people. Oh, crap. Uh, I didn't even hit him there. I hit. I was trying to pre-fire him because I knew he was going to challenge because he, he knew I was hurt. But, oh, well. Hopefully they don't all leave from this. Wow, that was delayed. <laughs> Quite the delayed kill there. What? <laughs> yeah, with any other assault rifle, I think I would have won that gunfight. It's just the fact that the uh, the fire rate is so slow. I guess maybe the... Oh, normally I could take that shot too, but I can't take that shot through the glass. I guess like the AK-12, I probably wouldn't have got that kill. Wow. Where did my aim go today? Where is he? Where is he? Oh my god. Oh, I thought I was dead. I wasn't yet. Yet. Anyways. <laughs> I will be soon, but not yet. There's guys above me. Oh, he knew exactly where I was. Alright, so that was kind of average-ish. Like, if I did decently well, it's only because my teammates are kind of dominating holding map control. So I went 12 and 5. So not that great. Not not as good as I would like to be. But hopefully with the uh, Supernova, we'll, we'll actually notice a difference here. I don't know how much of a difference we'll notice, though, to be honest. Because I think I kept most or a lot of my gunfights within a 3-shot kill range. Maybe not. Maybe not, though. I, I can't quite uh, visualize how far 650 units, I think it's 650 units is, because that's how far I, I have to go for my uh, three-shot kill. After that, it's a five-shot kill, which is no bueno. But now we're basically going to be a three-shot kill anywhere. Which is sweet. Where are these guys at? Where are these guys at? They all push to see. Oh, there's... Come on. Challenge. Challenge. Teammate got him. All right, just going to keep an eye on A spawns here for a sec. Oh, oh, I don't know where that guy went. Is that an enemy? Where did you just appear from? He just like appeared inside me. That sounded weird. Ignore I said that. <laughs> My teammate just died there. Oh, I saw a guy pushing this way. Where is he? Oh, now, now he pops up. There we go. Now I'm feeling a little more confident in my gunfights. Except I can only hit them two times before they they get away from me. Oh crap, we're kind of dominating too here. I was kind of hoping that guy was going to kill my teammates on B. Before they got the capture. Oh well. Where is he? Oh, had a hard time finding him. I'm going to let them cap B if, if they're going to take it. Maybe not, because my teammates are going to steal those kills. <laughs> Oh crap, was that an enemy? No, I wasn't. I was a teammate. Everybody panic! I'm gonna let them cap C, if my teammate will. Oh! Oh, I didn't see those other guys. Yes, they got a warbird. <laughs> it's funny, because I'm kind of cheering for them in a way. Like, I'm still gonna try to do the best I can. It's just, as far as flags go, I'm not gonna be jumping on flags uh, every time I would normally jump on flags, because I'd like this to go to at least close to the full five-minute range. Okay. Let's be aggressive as far as kills, though. Oh, crap. He saw me. He saw me. I've been spotted. There you go. You can see just how much more comfortable I am getting kills. And part of it is a confidence thing. Like, that, that is always going to be part of this, this series, is the psychological boost that I get, knowing that I'm using the best gun versus knowing that I'm using the absolute worst gun I could be for that particular variant or that worst variant for that particular gun oh baby a triple <laughs> that was good that was good 
Where are they all at? Oh, that accuracy, though. Where is he going to back off to? Right there. Might as well get three points on B, right? I mean, if we're going to cap it anyways. Whew. Okay. Oh, we're about to overlap my system hacks here. Interesting place to try and capture that from. Ooh, that's a sniper. That's a sniper. Ooh, that's that's a scary dude. Ah, I'm dead. I'm working my aim a little bit more here. All right. System hack him again. I don't even care anymore. We will just dominate for the rest of this game. I'm not going to cap that C flag, though, unless my teammates happen to jump on it. Just because I want to stretch this game up to the five-minute round. That was bad. That's okay, though. Should be up here. No, not coming through. No, I'm going to let them cap C here. Capsy, come on. <laughs> Took him a long time to get that. It's funny, when you want to stop them, it feels like they can capture flags in instantly. But when you when you want them to capture the flag, it feels like it takes forever. <laughs> and Yeah, we just triple capped again. Well, this probably isn't going to go to the full uh, five minutes, but it was at least somewhat close to the five minutes. Or it will be. Close enough, anyways. It's gonna be like four and a half minutes. Oh, was it? I, I thought for a second there I got a little aim assist pull on somebody. I did. It was the guy laying down there. I thought it was a body. Oh, 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 where did you just. Yeah, I probably should have seen that one coming. I'm trying to be aggressive here to get. squeeze in the last couple kills. And he pulls off the assist. Oh, crap. Whoa, why are my, my lasers aren't registering? What was that? <laughs> that was just some sort of connection issue. It must have been. I was lighting that guy up. All right, so 33 and 11 there. So what did we end up? I'll do the math and, and put it in, in the editing. So there you go. You can kind of see the difference between the two. I'm starting to think I was outside of my three-shot kill range for a lot of those kills that I got with the Supernova. I just misjudged the uh, distance between the the three shot kill and the five shot kill range with it. But you can see the supernova is something you can definitely be more confident with uh, because you have that three shot kill at almost any range. Like as as far as most gunfights are going to be in, it's going to be a three shot kill range. As long as you can stay accurate, which I was struggling with a little bit, you're going to be successful with that. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode and uh, let me know in the comment section below what you'd like me to use for a future episode. I'm only doing, going to do two more episodes of best versus worst before Black Ops 3 launches. So it'll be Wednesday and Friday. And Friday's episode is already taken. I'm going to be doing the ASM-1. I haven't decided exactly which variants. Let me know in the comment section below which variants you think I should use for the ASM-1. But also, I'm still looking for uh, my Wednesday one. Which one should I use? Which gun should I use for my best versus worst series? If you enjoyed the video, a like ratings always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.